And a very good Sunday morning again. Thanks for joining us here on Inside the Valley. As I said earlier, we've got a great show in store for you to talk about a lot of events that are happening around the Rio Grande Valley. First on the show, we're talking to the folks from St. Joseph Catholic Church about a great event that they have coming up. It's their Spring Festival. We'll talk a little bit more about it on the show today. We have Father Greg Labus and Hermie Forsagi. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for, Thank having, you for us. having us. Okay, so it's great having you on the show again this year. Uh, I know last year we did the same thing again. You had your Spring Festival. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the church, first of all, before we start talking about the event, uh, St. Joseph Catholic Church. Uh, and what it's all about. Well, we're having the Spring Festival because we're raising money for a capital campaign. Mm -hmm. our, we've outgrown our current facility and we're raising money to build a new facility on North 10. How long have you had the facility? First the of all? church was established in 1947. Okay. And back then, well, there yeah. wasn't much out there. Right. But the, the valley has changed so dramatically now, so mm -hmm. the parish uh, facility just doesn't serve the needs of, of our growing congregation. So it must be pretty tight in there. It is. Yeah. yeah. And there's only one of me, so right. I can only do so many masses. <laughs> sure, absolutely. Now, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier. You said that you have already purchased a property. Yes, my uh, predecessor uh, purchased property on North 10th. Okay. And uh, so it's a great location. Yeah, it's just now we need to start building and now get everything building. up and running. Right. How big will a church be itself? Well, we're looking at building a church that's going to seat about 1,500. 1500. Mm -hmm. Wow, so that's pretty big. We're you... planning for the future. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's good. That's what you have to do. So, uh, as you were saying earlier, uh, the congregation keeps growing. You need a bigger facility, a bigger church, um, and obviously that costs a lot of money. Right. Uh, how are you guys pretty close to meeting your goal? Well, or? we're not too far from uh, the, the phase one marker where we'll be able to uh, build phase one, which will be a hall, mm -hmm. first of all, which will serve as the church temporarily. Okay. And once that's done, then we'll actually build the church itself. Okay. So. Do you have a timeline uh, when you might start the first phase or? Uh, Alan, when you give me a check for five million, yeah. we'll start. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna actually go get a lottery ticket today. Uh, if you have any lucky numbers, let me know. <laughs> but um, so you're, you're kind of, it takes a lot of money right, obviously right, to, yeah, to build. So. Um, now let's talk about the Spring Festival because I know this is a great event for you. And as I was saying earlier, the proceeds will be going towards building this new church. Uh, what can people expect this year at the festival? Well, more food. That's gonna always have, good. Exactly. <laughs> We're going to have different types of foods this year that, mm -hmm. you know, we haven't had in years past, you know, gorditas and chalupas and that sort of stuff. So Right. So um, any rides, any... Uh, there's going to be plenty of rides for the kids, yes. Um, I think there's a rock climbing thing also. Great. For the older so kids, the older not kids. the little ones, the yeah. older kids. The older yeah. ones, yes. <laughs> the little kids, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have... Just all kinds of stuff for the family, you know, lots of vendors also. Okay, so. yeah, and entertainment too? Exactly, there'll be a lot of entertainment, musical groups mm -hmm. and other uh, entertaining groups throughout the day. And the evening there'll be a big chalupa bingo, so. That's huge. A lot of people like to play chalupa bingo, so come it on out huge. and there's great prizes yeah. on the chalupa bingo and lots of food. Yeah. And a big raffle, too. So. Oh, yeah, we okay. do have a raffle. Oh, fantastic. Uh, what about, you said there's going to be some vendors there. Now, these are all local vendors? Local vendors, okay. yes. Okay. What if uh, some folks are watching right now who, you know, they live here in the Valley, they want to maybe help out a little bit. Uh, can they do that? Can you, are you guys still accepting vendors, or? I think we still have room for vendors. Okay. So they're so welcome they, to come out. You know, they just need to call the church office. I sure. think they'll have that number. And kind of get everything. And we can get them, get the information yeah. they need. Absolutely. Yes. Now, how important is it for you, Father Greg, to, you know, have a bigger, a bigger facility, a bigger church, um, you know, and, and seeing that the congregation is growing? How, how special is that first off for you? And how important is it to make sure that the congregation is comfortable? Well, my predecessor started this whole process. So mm -hmm. uh, I think it's, I, I, I buy into his vision. Right. Because where we are now, we're kind of landlocked, so uh, his vision of moving in, into a, a more uh, accessible location, mm -hmm. which is more in the center of our boundaries as a parish. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, we're on the far east end of our boundaries, which made sense 60 years Back in ago, the day. <laughs> yeah. but doesn't make sense any, mo any longer. So the new location will serve our parishioners better, mm -hmm. and of course, we'll have a bigger facility, so we won't have to worry about uh, overcrowding and. I can cut down the mass schedule too a little bit. Sure. Uh, um, so I won't have to celebrate quite so many on Sunday. Absolutely. Now, uh, currently, do you host uh, summer programs at the church? 
any type of summer programs for the kids or anything like that? Or will be there. There has been vacation Bible school in the past. Um, this year, I don't think we're doing that, but we are having a youth program and a youth exchange program with a, a parish up north. So great. So let's get to uh, the date of the festival itself. Uh, when's the date? Where is it going to be? And, and how much to get in? April 29th from nine in the no, from oh, eleven nine. in the morning to nine at night. Okay. And it's going to be. There's no fee to get in. Right. 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 So it's come. <laughs> so it's free to get in. Yeah. There's no fee to get right. in. So come and enjoy the entertainment. Lots mm. of food. The rides. A lot of this is not only is it for us to have uh, fundraising for the new church, but mm. it's an opportunity for fellowship. Absolutely. So the the whole team working together. Lots of people coming out, visiting, and just a, a good event for the family. Absolutely, and you want everyone to come out together, and then folks, you're just kind of asking to maybe make a donation. Or buy raffle tickets, yeah. buy lots of food, go to the Chalupa Bingo, Yeah, hey, great. Chalupa Bingo, who doesn't love that, right? I mean, <laughs> exactly. it's fantastic. Exactly. Now, uh, where can people get a little bit more information here about uh, either the church or maybe plans uh, for the new facility that you want to build? Well, they or? can call the parish office okay. uh, at 383-3728 uh, and uh, either speak with my secretary or myself and we'll be glad to share uh, any information we can. Sounds like it's going to be a fantastic festival. Uh, I wish you guys all the best uh, this year. Hopefully you have a huge crowd that shows up. Uh, folks, we posted some more information there. If you'd like to give them a call, uh, call this number 956-383-3728. Hermie and Father Greg, thank you guys both so much for being on the show. Really appreciate it. Thank Thanks you for, for having, having us. My Ellie. pleasure. And folks, don't go anywhere. When we come back on this Sunday morning, we're going to be talking with the Hispanic Women's Network of Texas about a big event that they have coming up. We'll have all those details when we return. Don't go anywhere.